Welcome to Upbeat. Iggy Azalea ain't happy with Snoop Dogg after he posted a picture to Instagram of a pale, puffy-faced woman with cornrows, titled Iggy Azalea No Makeup. When Iggy came across the post, she let it rip on Twitter, wondering why he would post such a mean pic on Insta when he sends his bodyguards to ask her for pictures every time they are at shows. She also wrote she was disappointed he would be such an ass for no reason. Rapper Daz Dillinger from The Dog Pound growled back that Snoop doesn't give an F about Iggy because she's nowhere near his level. He called her a liar for a past incident and added, bitch needs to stay in her place before they get Nicki Minaj, the real rapper, on her ass. The memes continued with Snoop posting another lookalike from White Chicks. The Aussie rapper's thinking she has nan nan problems but he won't be one like what? I'm listening to you knowing I can't believe what you're saying. It's a million years, baby boo, so don't be dumb. I got 99 problems, but you won't be one. Like what? Kesha has filed a lawsuit against her producer, Dr. Luke, accusing him of sexually, physically, verbally, and emotionally abusing her for 10 years since the age of 18. The details are horrendous and allegedly led to her eating disorder. TMZ grabbed the exclusive news and lawsuit in which Kesha is asking the judge to be let out of her contract. The singer's lawyer claims the suit is an effort by Kesha to regain her music career and personal freedom after being in a manipulating environment for 10 years. Fox 411 reports the producer has now filed a lawsuit against the songstress, claiming they are outrageous and untrue statements. If you've been wondering what Shia LaBeouf has been up to, just tune in to Ellen's interview for an insight into the wackily portrayed mind of the Transformers star. Watching him talk about his bizarre past behaviour sheds light on the situation. LaBeouf recently experienced a night in jail for causing a disturbance at a Broadway show. He admitted to spitting on the officer as he was being arrested, for which he is extremely sorry. What scared you the most? What, what, you, what got you out of that behaviour, that pattern? Uh, jail. Huh? Hundred <laughs> percent. Jail is uh -huh. quite scary. Did you go to jail? Yeah, I was in jail. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, for how long? <laughs> uh, I was there for. Uh, uh, um, it felt like forever. Uh, I think 24 hours, 25 hours. Wow. Well, leading to a Hannibal mask being used. The actor described the experience as scary and life-changing. He also shed light on the paper bag on the head demonstration. But this is the worst time. I mean, okay. I really went all the way with it. They put a Hannibal mask on me and a lead jacket, and it was just really rough. Wow. Yeah, it was very scary. You must have done something very, very bad. Yeah, I spit on a cop. It's a no-no. <laughs> it's a big no-no. I'm sorry. If yes. you're watching, dude, I'm sorry, man. That was crazy, yeah. man. Yeah, but yeah. You're, you're now all good. Yeah, I mean, I'm as good as I can be, sure. <laughs> <laughs> His mother, Shayna, was the one to bring the Indiana Jones star around with a simple stop fucking around. No, 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 when a post-Christmas play date turns topsy-turvy and the toys find themselves in no man's land. Realising cool action figures are delusional, it's up to the Triceratops to get everyone home safe. What had been planned as a six-minute short developed into a 22-minute special, three years in the making. December 2 will see the gang return in all their glory. One Direction has a star gracing their music clip for Steal My Girl. Denny DeVito is the cameo, but no, he won't be stealing no girls. Playing the music video's director, the It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia crazy man, is already acquainted with the boys. The band announced the addition via Twitter, saying they were still reeling from the news. The video starring the five-foot actor will be released next Friday, with their album hitting stores November 17th. We dance, we dance.